Hello, Sagittarius. So, you, again, killed it for the bonus for loving contributions. And I want to give you much gratitude. Um, we are building on the June 29th reading, okay? Where this person was just going through it. So, I'm going to ask my spirit guides to step in here and share with me more about what's going on between you and your person. Okay. they're out of sync with their heart okay and there's this energy where they know they won't need to make a decision but they feel like it's going to be a really hard one to make and so they're just like I won't make any decision at all if I you know can't get myself into sync then why should I make the decision at all because without making the decision they feel like the energy is still very balanced. However, I do feel like that's very deceptive because really they're in their head a lot, okay? Thinking about you, trying to figure things out. This is a divine timing for them to be going through this and trying to get them into a place where they can make this leap even though they feel like it is very much an unknown factor, okay? Where they're like, you know, feeling this energy of wanting to jump into this, but being terrified of it. Because they see this long road ahead and they don't want to make the decision because they don't want to be the person that betrays someone. And they do feel like by making this decision, they are betraying someone. Okay? Again, that is a very deceptive energy. But it's an energy they need to work through in order for you guys to work in a really good connective energy between the two of you. They are probably in and out a lot right now, being in their head so much about you. And it's because it's like they come into this energy of being very happy and then being very sad and then being very happy and then being very angry. But this divine timing is meant to shine a light on a new perspective for them, all right? And that um, this pause, this hanged man energy before moving into the unknown has been meant for to happen. So they want to be the king of their truth. They want to be like all knowing, but they're coming forward without, okay, this came out reversed. They're coming forward with an energy where they are listening more to their ego than to their truth. Because all they, if they would listen to their truth, it, their heart just wants this, okay? Their heart just wants this. They are trying to manifest. 
okay? Every time they are thinking about you, they don't realize that what they're doing is actually manifesting them walking away from this other choice, taking this Ace of Pentacles to start anew with you. And that... I mean, it's really sweet. Like, they're showing me that this person, like, they're they're walking through the grass, which grass is new, and grass is comforting, right? And heart chakra green, barefoot. Like, they're grounded, okay? They're so grounded that this root chakra pentacle, okay, is like, but I'm following you. And it's attaching. It's like they feel like by leaving something behind, that they were leaving all of this stability and everything behind them. But what I'm being shown is by making this choice, like they're attracting all the abundance to come with them. Now, of course... You're just sitting here trying to figure out what the heck is going on here, okay? Um, you're not, of course, being privy to what they're going through, the, the new perspective that they're getting. So you're on this little boat. You've put your cup away. You're thinking about moving forward because I am also came out with the Queen of Swords with, with the Eight of Cups. Like... You're like, well, I'm not going to sit here and focus on this cup. I'm moving ahead to my own happiness. That also is part of this divine timing, okay? You've got to pull yourself away from the energy of the past with this, where you were allowing yourself to just be pulled under by the toe of this um, attraction and um, getting all up in your head, okay? This is also being meant to clear out some of those remaining um, beliefs that aren't really serving you as you're going through this. Thank you. So, okay, they're coming to the end of this weary road, okay, of this learning. They are starting to look over their shoulder at leaving that belief system behind and following their passion to come forward to you. Uh, again, you're not seeing that because it's energy that's behind the veil, okay? Um, but they are manifesting that coming forward. And I'm being told to remind you that, you know, again, and then this comes out, but this is higher self energy, okay? They pull back to go into that higher intuitive energy to be able to move forward, to leave the past beliefs behind. And you're going through what you went through, okay? Because you weren't working on yourself. You weren't working on, and I'm being shown like business or career, or maybe it's school, because I'm also seeing somebody here could have um, been like going to school in some sort of science field. I'm seeing like a, a microscope here. But you weren't working on yourself. And um, while this person was going through this, the universe had to sit, was like, listen, we got to do something here to force you to keep working on yourself because what you're doing is essential. What you're doing is important. Okay? And you weren't balanced. So we had to 
kind of push you apart, right? So I feel like um, you're both feeding off of the energy of your friends, your family, and your guides. Um, you both could be definitely pulling off of the energy of nature here, and especially um, running rivers and streams and waters, okay? And... Again, you're being shown that this is about this big transformation, okay? We've got the angels of the four directions here and, um, and being shown like all of this abundance that's being created like underneath like the surface, okay? Um, this person learning to soar, learning to open up to their higher self. And as they do, again, the abundance will follow them when they make this choice. And this manifestation, okay, bringing this together, this is definitely, you know, this person moving to a new level, okay, with the milestone card. And I'm being shown here, so I've got six and a four and a six but they were trying to show me the four actually as a six they were trying to show me angel number six 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 um look that up but also know that that six and the four together right the angels of the four directions and the milestone that's a 10 that's a completion you also were going through a transformation, okay? Now we've got a divine masculine and a divine feminine going through a transformation. And um, so they're showing me this kind of like my bridge card in my Mindset Unicorn deck. Like you had to go inward and deal with these inner conflicts to cross this bridge. And um, the reminder here is that don't intentionally burn your bridges just to be forcing yourself into going forward. Because on the other side of this is this magnificently balanced energy and bringing in a brand new ability and a brand new space as you're working on yourself, all right, you're bringing in new supportive connections to help you build forward on the things that are going on in your life. There may have been some flirting going on between the two of you recently which is a good thing. It was meant to showcase to you that there still is some passion there. Your person, again, they're dealing with finances and career issues. They're afraid that moving forward, that they will um, not be bringing anything to the table. But when they get to the point where they're ready to move forward, even if it's just with the one pentacle, the brand new pentacle start, they will be attracting all of the abundance to come with them.
So your person is definitely dreaming, okay? Having dreams, trying to help them from higher self into making this decision, okay? With the two of wands. Um, this transformation is definitely because of this twin flame soulmate union. I've got the four of swords here and um, it's about transmitting to your person, okay, from the 5D, from their higher self, transmitting to them in a way that they can accept that they have everything within them to make this choice and to move forward on this. Okay, so this ascension, if you look at this, we have these two cups, okay? This ascension with the five of cups here, okay, was this internal work that they had to do to balance out their own divine masculine and divine feminine and to come into their own union, okay, so that they could move forward with two of cups, okay? Your transformation is about moving the energy where you've been stagnant and you've been deceptive about how dealing with this person when they were trying to be transformed and pulling into all of their energy was stagnating your house, okay? So you needed to be able to also have some separation so that you could move your house forward. Yeah, because I feel like... Um, Again, Seven of Wands, you were too busy standing up for this person. This house I'm being shown is empty. And there were connections that you were going to miss, okay, to come in and support this union. And so you had to, you had to have this separation. Seven of Cups here as well. Um, what they're showing me here is that, okay, the separation between you, you're still connected. You, you're still the choice that you each want. You're still plugged into each other, okay? So let me pull a couple of cards from the universe. Definitely, there was some restriction here, okay, meant for you both to be working on your own thing so that there could be this rebirth, bringing in your inner strength, okay? You may have felt like you walked away from happiness in order to do that, but happiness is coming back, Op mode, and communication should be coming in, okay? So, I hope that this helps. This is very much kind of like how I do like my um, my personal readings, okay? Um, but this is how I've been called to do the bonus readings. So I hope that this helps you. Just remember that this person, okay, they need to, to figure out that there was nothing holding them back. What they thought was holding them back, they're not even, it's not even tied to anything, okay? They needed to get through that mentality and you needed to, you know, work on what you needed to work on, okay? So, I hope this helps. They're going through it for a reason. You're meant to have some separation for a reason, okay? 
All right, guys, I will see you on Saturday, okay, for your next reading, unless I do a bonus. But like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to make sure to help keep me growing the channel so I can do these uh, bonuses live at some point. And then also um, there in the description box, there's the link to my extended program, the link for personal readings, the link for the decks that I use, um, as well as the links if you would like to um, donate and support my time in doing this. And, um, or if you, if there's a deck that you'd like me to pull in, feel free to donate along with a note and say, please buy this deck. I'd like you to use it. All right. Much love. Bye.